Coming up on Rob on the Road, we're taking you all across the state, starting with an exclusive tour of Catalina Island. Escape the hustle and bustle of life to explore this enchanting island getaway. This is one of the most scenic spots of the island, and I see why. Plus, an international icon in San Francisco says, come on in. You have a behind the scenes tour for us. Yes, we do. Of some spectacular art. Open the doors and step back in time at Coit Tower with a special treat just for you. And we are surrounded by hundreds of California sea lions and elephant seals. Rescued and rehab sea creatures get a second chance at life in Sausalito at the Marine Mammal Center. Hi, baby. Let's go back home. And later, go with me atop the California State Capitol Dome, closed to the public for more than 50 years. But that's not the case today. All right, I can't believe we're doing this. A hike you won't soon forget. And it's all coming up on... And now, Rob on the Road, exploring California. Hi, I'm Rob Stewart, and this time we're exploring California with a half hour dedicated to some of the Golden State's most shining treasures. California is home to nine national parks and perhaps America's most spectacular coastline with majestic mountains and timeless redwood forests, stunning beaches and pristine lakes. It is the state where you can work and play every day. We begin on world famous Catalina Island in Southern California, historic, unspoiled, and abundant in both natural beauty and amazing visitor experiences. It's a place unlike anything else, just a short ferry ride from the Southern California coast. So we are in for a treat today. We are in downtown Avalon on Catalina Island with Ron Lauder. Good to see you, Ron. Good to see you. Been a tour guide for 30 years here. So I guess you know your stuff. I know my, most of my way around. I, I don't get lost very often. Now there's a famous loop that a lot of people take on golf carts. Right. Mm -hmm. This road is one of the longest coastal roads on the entire island. It's a whole mile and a half. This island's so mountainous, we don't have a lot of coastal roads out here. The main mode of transportation on the island is a golf it's cart. A golf cart. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's living. Yeah, City of Babylon actually limits the number of full-size vehicles allowed. I understand that there's about 4,000 people that live here on the island, but a million tourists a year. A million visitors a year come out here. That's phenomenal. Stop and look at that. That is unreal. That right there says it all. Oh, I always think it's beautiful out here. You can see about four miles down to that last point down there. That's called Long Point. That's where the island's at its widest. It's about eight miles across our island from there. The length of our island from the east end to the west end is around 21 miles long. So, we've got a total of 76 square miles of island out here. And here to the left, we'll see what's called the Inn on Mount Ada. This was originally built back in 1921 as the home of Mr. and Mrs. William Wrigley Jr. They were, of course, the chewing gum Wrigleys. And when they built the house out here, Mr. and Mrs. Wrigley would spend a lot of time enjoying their summers here on the island. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but the Chicago Cubs trained here on the island for over 30 years. That's fascinating. That was a ball team, of course, owned by the Wrigley's. That was one of the ways that Wrigley wanted to attract visitors here to the island in the springtime. And once William Wrigley Jr. arrived here for the first time and saw the island, went out in the hills and explored the interior of the island, he fell in love with it. And all of his partners really wanted to develop the island. But Wrigley had the foresight to see that this, this island was very beautiful and very natural, and that should be preserved. Because back in 1919, he could see that Southern California was growing rapidly. Originally, all of Avalon was considered to be the world's largest one-floor hotel, and it was all tents. 
Well, eventually over the years, those tents were replaced with these little cottages we see here today. Mrs. Wrigley really enjoyed uh, succulent plants. Here in Avalon, in order to enhance the, uh, the beauty of the town, she planted her garden up in here, and she collected succulents from all over the world. So beautiful. And look at the sun just cresting over the beautiful Wrigley Memorial. 